Hello and welcome to another episode of the Medical. This is Smitty from 60cards.com. Um, so this is a premier event on Magic Online, playing against a good player in many gnarls. Uh, this is round three. I <clears throat> so this is a green-white aggro deck. It, actually, it's funny because I've been working on this for about a week now, and then Louis Laskin and his crew for Star City Games came out with a deck very, very similar with Lead the Stampede and et cetera, et cetera. So. I posted that list up on the site, um, but I'm at the point where I actually, like, people are going to be ready for it, so I actually altered this a little bit, and it's kind of the same thing, but it um, it has a, it's kind of a Beastmaster Ascension deck, so uh, that's why you see Nest Invaders here. So anyways, we'll see how this game goes. He molds a six, so it's a good, decent start for us. Um, turn one play is always the best. There's six of them, so you can't uh, aggressively mulligan into that. This hand seems decent. It's fairly aggressive, so we'll see where it goes. The uh, The idea is just to overextend, and there's a lot of card advantage in this deck. Lead the Stampede, Squadron Hawks, Nest Invader, there's just all sorts of, um, all sorts of card advantage, so. Uh, getting Nest Invader online would be nice, but I don't really have, I mean, Fauna here is the play. Um, because we want to be able to um, get out something more aggressive against him, probably Vengevines, uh, as per usual. So that's not going to happen, though. But that's all right. Uh, Leatherback Bayloth here is actually fairly aggressive. So we're going to go ahead and probably drop that. I mean, he's got to have the Doom Blade for it or whatever. If he doesn't, uh, it's a pretty good clock against him. And then we can follow up with the Molten Tail if he takes care of the. Bayloth. This isn't generally how the deck wants to come out, ideally, but, um, you know, not every hand's perfect, so I'd say this is, like, pretty average. It's nothing that special or that awful. Um, and this is actually pretty decent because we can keep him off some good mana here, but we'll see what happens on the attack. So, um, here, I don't want to Masticore into, like, a mana leak because I want to be able to keep him off his mana. So we're going to just drop Nest Invader and then the Tech Edge. And uh, once he drops his land, probably blow it up, but we'll see what he plays. That's also the nice thing about Nest Invader. It adds a little extra mana ramp, so it just offers a lot here. Um, we'll go ahead and see what he does with Jace first, because he's out of mana this turn. So I'll probably bounce the Bayloth, yeah. Uh, so this is interesting, I mean, Jace is going to die, and I can stick the Mastercore next turn, so I am actually going to blow up his Tahar Pit, keep him off the double blue. Um, if he didn't have that red source, I'd blow up the Black Cleave, but obviously that's not the case. So, we'll go ahead and kill Jace first. Then drop the bomb. He's gonna cry when he sees the Mastercore. <laughs> we'll see how much this takes over the game. Um, I'm really trying to get the mana to work. The the white is. I've got I think ten sources in here now, plus the birds and lotus cobras. But often, um, oh, he concedes early to a Mastercore.